Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to put head to head two of the Windows Mixed Reality headsets, one from Acer, one from Lenovo. I have reviewed these separately, you can see them on our YouTube channel and on the DigitalLifestyle.com, so we've got in depth on the Acer, in depth on the Lenovo, and a bit about Windows Mixed Reality as well. Also on our YouTube channel we've got uh, videos on how to use a desktop, gaming, Xbox gaming, all sorts of Windows Mixed Reality tips. So please subscribe and uh, follow us on the DigitalLifestyle.com. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is just really see which of these two is um, the best one. Or what the differences are at least. So, first of all I want to get out of the way the controllers. These are the Windows Mixed Reality controllers. They're a standard reference design from Microsoft. So that's an Acer one, that's a Lenovo one, and aside from the, the logo on there, there's absolutely no difference. So if you're thinking of which control is best for you, the Acer or the Lenovo one, doesn't matter, they're both they're all identical, it's only the label that's different, the logo on there. The headsets themselves are slightly different. Not a huge amount, but there are a couple of uh, subtle differences. So, neither of them actually come with heads, headsets either, so you've got to ha use a 3.5mm uh, jack de audio device on their headphones or a headset on there to be able to use the microphone and the headphones. Um, so they do go down the USB cable and everything, but you've got to use those. So both have got the same limitation. Both of them also have, they also have the same connectors as well. So, they both have HDMI and USB 3. HDMI and USB 3, all identical, almost the same length in cables as well. Let me just check. I'll wrap these round. Yeah, identical, identical cable length. So that's they're the same. So what are the differences? Well, the display on each one is uh, each eye is 1440 by 1440, both the same. But there are a couple of differences. The Field of view, that's the amount you can see in your periphery, sort of out your peripheral vision when you've got the headset on. The Acer headset is 95 degrees, the Lenovo is 105, so you can actually see a little bit more around your peripheral vision with the Lenovo one. In practice, I haven't felt a huge amount of difference. Uh, the largest one of, the, of all the uh, Windows Mixed Reality headsets is actually the Samsung, which is 110 uh, degree. And they've got the same tracking, they've got the same sensors, same audio. It's really down to the, the comfort and the weight, I guess. So, the Acer one is 350 grams, Lenovo 380. And it does feel like the Acer headset is slightly lighter. They've both got this flip up design, so when you're wearing it, you can just flip it up so you can see what's going on. And in practice, they both work very similarly. So, the Lenovo one fits on like this. I found that I've been playing with a bit of time. This is probably my the favourite of the two devices, the most comfortable. It doesn't seem to pinch the nose too much, and um, there's not a lot of light bleed with it. They've got these bands on the back with an adjustable dial to tighten it up, and it feels nice and comfortable. The Acer one feels lighter. Um, Probably not quite as comfortable. The back of it the same with the the dial. I do feel it pinches my nose a little bit. It sort of feels heavier on the nose. Perhaps I could adjust the headband uh, to get that make that a bit more comfortable. And I found that this one does have a tendency to steam up if you're quite warm. And I think it's to, to do with the way that the nose is brought in. So I do feel like this is pinching my nose a little bit. I can't really feel a lot on the weight. It probably does feel a bit lighter lighter and in terms of light bleed there's not really much on this perhaps a little bit around here so I've got the Lenovo headset on now this is what I'm going through the PC monitor um, so this is a way of sort of duplicating what I see and yeah it feels very immersive I can see the oh, sort of the, the circular lenses and um, yeah quite a wild feed uh, oh guys my desktop but quite a wild a wide field of view that 105 degrees I'm going to switch to the Lenovo one and see if I can feel any difference. Sorry, I'll switch to the Acer one, I'm on the Lenovo one. So here I am now with the uh, Acer one on and despite that 5 degree difference, I really don't feel like uh, I can see much more. It's perhaps noticeable a little bit, if I look here over um, on my desktop app, I can see 
perhaps a little bit more with the uh, Lenovo wallet at the sides but really there's not very much in it. This one's steaming up now, um, the Lenovo one wasn't and I do feel like it's pinching my nose a little bit but there's not a huge amount in it. So in terms of use the tracking and everything else works absolutely perfectly, both work identically. So in terms of day to day use there's very little in it. The uh, only difference I think with all the devices, the Samsung one, which isn't available in the UK, um, has a built-in headset and it's slightly wide, wide view view and a slightly higher res. These two are very similar, the field of view isn't, doesn't really make much difference. The Comfort, i say the Lenovo slightly has it, but there's not a lot in it. The, Lenovo, the Acer one I think is a little bit more colourful, it's almost like a retro VR headset that you'd expect in the, in the 90s, that kind of thing. Both great, really love uh, Windows Mixed Reality, both work really well. So I think it really depends on which one you personally like and um, the price that you can get them. They do vary in price, they're around £400, uh, you can get them in, uh, at different prices. Check out Amazon for all the details. Thanks for watching this one, if you're interested in Windows Mixed Reality make sure you check our other videos on thedigitallifestyle.com.